Hey there, YouTube. This is Asia. Um, my channel is known as Simply Asia. I have been contemplating. Is that the word? Did I say that correctly? <laughs> I have been going back and forth with myself about whether or not to start my own YouTube channel. And not for the reasons that you, you know, normally would think. I don't want to be an influencer. I don't really care about tutorials. But I want to live life. You know what I mean? So, the last two years have been very traumatizing and devastating to me. I've had a lot of loss. I have recently found out that I am bipolar and I suffer from PTSD and generalized anxiety disorder. So, with that, my whole world has been flipped upside down within the last two years. And I want my life back. I don't want a new life. I want a new lifestyle. I want to prosper. I want my family to prosper. And I know with that, I have to set goals and I have to accomplish them. Now, if you see me look down, it's because I've took notes over this because in the way that my brain works and don't mind my vacuum back there. I've been trying to fix the darn thing and it has no suction. So if anybody knows how to get suction back in the vacuum, let me know. But anyways, back to my notes. A little about me. I am 30 years old. I have three beautiful children, two girls and a boy. And I am married. Um, my husband is the breadwinner. And I am a stay-at-home mom slash online student for Southern New Hampshire University. <sighs> now... Let's just say I already have a little bit of education underneath my belt, but this this is big. This is really big. This is un this is Did I say other universities? I don't I don't have I don't have other universities. Okay. If that is what I said. I have education underneath my belt, but when it comes to this degree, this is a big deal for me. This is my biggie. This is my goal. This is my my purpose my purpose and with that being said I have to get a hold of myself okay so the next big thing is what will my channel consist of <laughs> that's a good question I'm not sure um, I am a licensed cosmetologist so there could definitely be some hair, some nail videos. Um, but for the most part, I'm just kind of winging it, guys. This is an adventure for me. And we're going to see how long I can keep up with this journey. I am going to try to post at least once a week. Now, it, whether it's something of school, something of the kids, something of... A mail I mean anything just I guess it would be considered vlogging I don't know I don't, I don't want to put a label on it okay let's let's not put labels on things yet okay but what we are gonna do we are going to set some goals for this year so number one eat healthier Okay, so let me just do this. Stand up here. I am a good walking, and this is it's a lot of weight, y'all. Yeah. A lot of weight. I am a walking 170. See the, the little baby. I've had some babies, y'all. I've had some babies. I am a walking 170. I've never been this big. Besides being pregnant, I've never been this big. And I know it has a lot to do with my birth control, but we're not going to just blame it on my birth control. I, my eating has been out of control. Um, it has not been healthy. So, of course, my body is going to do what it knows to do and store what it's being given. And a lot of that is just simple fat and carbohydrates. So, like I said, notes, like I said, 
eat healthier. Exercise daily. That's gonna be hard for me. So let's talk about my exercise routine. I do a program called Supernatural. And I started it last year. My husband got me the Oculus for Christmas last year. And I started it last year and man, I went strong. I went so strong for like three or four months. And when I tell you I lost about 20 pounds, I lost about 20 pounds. A bitch was feeling herself. And then life happened. I can't even tell you what happened. I just stopped exercising and the weight has came back. I have not gotten any heavier than I have been, but the weight is like a consistent 170. It's sticking there. I might drop down to 160 here and there, but it's it's there. So one thing I am going to try to do is start exercising daily. That is going to have, going to, have to be worked up into because I am so out of shape. So uh, with Supernatural, you can set goals. So I set a goal for working out at least three times a week. And I'm not going to lie, I started this about a month ago. And I've been pretty consistent on it until my husband comes home. My husband comes home and I'm not going to lie, I don't want to do anything. Like, I, I don't want to think. Do I feel like my life is on pause. <laughs> and yeah, but that's not how this year is going to be for me. So next goal, um, spend more time with my family. Now this is going to be a hard goal and I know this, that sounds so stupid and really just darn right selfish, but you have to understand where I'm coming from. I deal with bipolar type 2 to where I am a manic depression, not manic depression. I have a lot of depressing episodes and with that comes harmony and not wanting to be bothered and it just it's it sucks it sucks it's something that you you don't really control your body you just try to find a way to mallow adapt to everything and i don't want to mellow adapt i want to adapt and adapt correctly um so with that I'm gonna start spending more time with my family. I'm gonna at least make it to where we have a either a game night or a movie night, and we all sit down and we chill as a family. Now, if I have to start making YouTube videos in order to keep my word, that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna bring you along, okay? All right, so next goal, number four. Find things that make me happy. I've been a stay-at-home mom for three years now and with that it just seems like I have lost every piece of me if that makes sense and I want I want to feel like me again I want joy I want happiness and I have to find that I have to figure out what makes me happy now Things that I used to do in the past that made me happy, now that I'm a mom and I'm over 30, some of those things don't make me happy no more. And so now I'm sitting here living day by day and just, I live in misery and I don't wanna live that way anymore. So the best way to make sure that you are happy is to make sure you are happy because ain't nobody else gonna fucking do it for you. I've learned that. I love my husband to death. He can't do it. Hell, he don't even want to do it, but he can't do it. And that's okay. My mom, when she was here, she couldn't do it. She couldn't bring me happiness. She couldn't bring me joy. She was a piece of my joy. My husband is a piece of my joy. My children are a tremendous, tremendously huge piece of my joy. I need to find my own joy. So, number five. Goal number five. And this is going to sound like a simple one, but for me, 
with my generalized anxiety disorder, stress tends to be second nature for me. And stress is a killer and I wanna live for a long time. So I am going to try to find ways to manage my stress. And hopefully extend my life. <laughs> All right, number six, stop making excuses and conquer, conquer expectations. I'm gonna repeat that. Stop making excuses and conquer expectations. Before, I never was a person that made up excuses. I, I either did it because I wanted to or I didn't because I didn't want to. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Like, I've always been the type of person I do what the fuck I want to. With being a mom and a wife, I feel like I don't have that liberty anymore. And so, in order for me to get out of certain things, I have caught myself making excuses, and that is going to stop. What I'm going to do instead is set expectations for me, myself, and I. And conquer the motherfuckers because excuses aren't gonna get me nowhere in life and I'm trying to get somewhere I don't know where exactly but I'm trying to get somewhere I'm trying to get further than where I'm at now right isn't that us all number seven and my last goal guys I'm not gonna keep y'all really alone tonight I would like to reach a thousand subscribers this year I'm not asking for a lot. I'm seeing people that have thousands, hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I'm not trying to be an influencer. I am not trying to um, teach anybody anything because, hell, I still got a lot of learning to do. What I am trying to do is set a community up for myself because I'm realizing that I don't have one. And I'm okay with admitting that, but I'm not okay with accepting it. I want better. My kids deserve to see me have better. And I feel like if my lifestyle changes, then I can be a better mom to my kids. I can show them how to enjoy life, how to conquer hard obstacles that are placed in front of you, how to not make excuses for everything and set expectations, number one. And conquer the motherfuckers. Because that's just what we do. Okay? So with that being said, if you have made it to end the end of my video, thank you so much for watching. And subscribe. You never know what's going to come next. It might just be me ranting. <laughs> Or it could be me, I don't know, trying to teach you something. But give your girl a chance. Y'all have a good one.